What you just saw was exactly what I would see if I was barricaded in that doorway, the most likely spot in this home to be the last place that I would need to be if I were on the phone with the police, family behind me, firearm in hand, hoping that no one was gonna come through that door. If that person did come through this door and I identified them as a lethal threat, this is the exact angle that I would probably be able to engage them at first with a live fire firearm. As you can see from that angle, there's a kid's bedroom on the other side. If I wasn't able to get the family behind me, and if I were to shoot at a person at this angle and miss or push through them, I would need a safe backstop here, and that doesn't necessarily mean armor plating. Books can make a great backstop. You can arrange the books to cover almost every square surface area of the likely angles that you're gonna be shooting that would result in a potential pass through of that wall and result in an angle that might hit a child in that bed or in that room. Of course, if the angle gets steeper and we go further this way, I'm more likely to hit the outside wall of that other bedroom, not go into that area. If I were to shoot high, I'm not worried about hitting. If I were to shoot low, I'm not worried about hitting that bed. It's a very specific angle and a very specific place that you'd want to be filling up with books. Will these stop bullets? Let's test the theory at the range. Let's take a look at the Winchester 9mm PDX-1 round. This is a typical round that I would carry for self-defense and have available for home defense. What we've done here is taped these books up just like they would be on a bookshelf. Instead of having them loose and worried about them twisting or moving around, if they're on the bookshelf, they're going to be held together like this. Now I can pull out this centerpiece here and we can see that this was the book that took the round. It obviously deflected the round to the side. It popped out of the side, and then it came over here and stopped in this second book. If we take a look over here, you can see that there's absolutely nothing in the target. Now, even if that were to have torn through a little bit more, remember, we've still got the drywall, we've still got whatever's on the other side of the wall. This isn't a 100% solution, but here with a typical pistol defense round, we see that the books did stop the bullet. Let's take a look at the Winchester PDX-1 round. This is a 60 grain round. This is a great home defense round also through our bookshelf. We saw a lot more energy transferred that time. Now obviously there's much more of a disaster down here when it comes to what happened to the books. But at the same time we realized that these books would be on a bookshelf and would be completely contained. Now here's where we see the bullet made its entry into this book. It got deflected, it got torn apart, it came out the side and went into the side of one of these other books. And we can see here where it went into the side and it's contained, as we look through here, inside this book. We see a lot of different shrapnel and fragments. Now that's exactly the kind of performance that I would expect out of a home defense type of 223 round that you might have in this carbine. And again, nothing even went into the drywall, which is what this piece of paper is representing, let alone went into the next room. Now we're going to take a look at a 20 gauge shotgun into our simulated bookshelf. This is a buckshot load. And we saw a lot of energy going into these books. In fact, I'm going to go down range and grab the books that took the rounds. And as you can see, the majority of the pellets went right through here. We have a lot of little damage there. We have some damage into this book, which is right next to this one, but nothing exited. While the energy took the books and threw them against the wall that we simulated, no pellets that actually came through the books and went into our drywall or simulated next room. 